tale of two halves again, kind of, what did you see? What was the biggest difference? Uh, we eliminated some of the mistakes that we've made in the first half. I thought the kids did a good job of adjusting. But, uh, you know, they just they fought through some adversity. That's what I was really proud of. Uh, some tough stuff early. Uh, we had so many in the first game on the road. Uh, I, was, I was proud of the way they responded to adversity, and I think we can take a lot of positives from that. And at the same time, uh, we've got to play so much better moving forward. And, uh, and that's what we're working to do, and that's what I anticipate us doing. Is that something you expect when you're playing a lot of young guys? Uh, growing pains, you know, I guess a, you know, if you step away from it, you might expect that, but when you're in it, you don't expect it. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of, there were a lot of firsts again, the first road game, the first for a lot of them, and, uh, but there's no excuses. And, you know, like I said, I was proud of the way that we responded to adversity, and anytime you get a defensive score, and, uh, you know, the, their first touchdown, if Q doesn't tip the ball, Jamal intercepts it. So, some, it was just bad luck that particular. But then the other two long plays were a lack of execution, and uh, we got to do a better job, and I'm confident we will. You had basically had two of your starters out, but DJ went down and Isaiah didn't play. Right. What did you see from the guys that in there? I thought, I thought you know, there was some good and some bad. Uh, once again, some inconsistency that comes along with you, but at the same time, uh, we, we can't continue to do that because you know, we've got to we've got to get those mistakes in the and uh, and find a way to win against some better competition which we're gonna face this week. What did, what specific challenges George Southern present that's different or more difficult for you guys? Well, you know, when you play an option team, you know, they spread the field and because in order to be sound against the option, uh, there's so many one on one tackling situations. It's not like somebody runs the ball and the big gap and there's eight guys that get to, get to participate in it because this, they just make you defend the field and you know, put you in space, which makes you one-on-one -on -one And at the same time, you know, their passing game, it's not the horizontal passing game that Tulane was, it's, it's a vertical passing game. Uh, you know, they had 10 completions against North Carolina State and they had 19 yards of completion, so it's not like they're throwing check downs, they're throwing home run balls. So uh, our secondary has to do a great job defending the deep ball and tackling the space this week.